Hi again then guys and welcome to another tune set up for one of the new 1.47 vehicles of course and this time as you saw from the title and the thumb it's a special projects return and if I recall correctly I think last time's special project was also a Porsche fictional build in a similar vein to this one funnily enough where I built a fictional GT3 RS version of the 80s Porsche 911 so check that one out if that sounds cool to you this is as I said a very similar concept what if and I suspect they probably will do this, if not in production, only in concept form at least, a kind of RS version of the Taycan. Now, of course, when Porsche makes these GT3s and RSs and GT2s, the specs tend to go up incrementally. It's not like one has 500 horsepower and one has 1,000. So the change in spec isn't ridiculous. As you can see, it's still no flyweight, and it hasn't even got the maximum amount of power. And that's because I wanted to get kind of realistic with the tune, a little bit nerdy with it as well, like what kind of specs could a car like this have? And before we go any further, if you are wondering how quick this one is, and also how you can make it look like I have, well, of course, you can get the livery on my community page, so click the link right below this video in the description to add it to your car if you like the colours and if you think it looks good. But as far as the performance goes, we tested it at Spa, and I tested it twice in the absolutely, totally untouched stock tune on sports soft tyres, and then this tune, my RS build, also on those same tyres, and it was three seconds quicker or technically like two and a half seconds quicker. The stock lap was a 2.33, this is a 2.30.5, so significantly quicker. And of course that's with not a huge amount of power or weight difference. Now, speaking of that difference, I've got 104% power, 98% weight, so in other words, I've increased the power by exactly 30 horses from 751 to 781. And of course, you could just go all the way up if you wanted to. But as I said, I wanted to get a little bit nerdy about it. As far as the weight, dropping it from, I think it's 2295 to begin with. So it's like around 50 or so, just under 50 kilos lighter. So again, it gives you that kind of vibe of what the actual car could feel like, because of course in a production sense Porsche would never make it anything like 200 kilos lighter because it's just not really possible in a luxury car like this with four seats and a big battery pack, so I wanted it to feel more realistic. The kind of stuff that they would do, for instance like uh, changing out some body panels for lighter materials, having maybe an Alcantara interior instead of leather, that kind of thing does add up, especially on a, a bigger, heavier car, just to drop the weight a little bit. Traction control is turned off. As I said, I have got sports soft tyres. Once again, I wanted it to feel kind of realistic, quick, but realistic. As far as the suspension goes, I've dropped the ride height by, I believe it was 5mm on the front and the rear, so it's now on 60 and 65. The frequency we've increased by a little bit to 1.75 on the front and the back. Anti-roll likewise is slightly increased to 7 and 6. For the compression on the dampers, those are up to 62, with 90 on the rebound. And I have altered the camber angle a little bit as well, 1 degree on the front, 1.5 degrees on the back. And to be honest, you could take the rear down if you wanted to, to like 1 and 1 on the front and the back, or even 1 degree on the front and half a degree on the back, and see if you like that. And then as far as the toe, that is of course neutral, downforce cannot be adjusted, the diff cannot be adjusted, and the transmission cannot be adjusted. So it's a pretty simple tune, it's all to do with the suspension and the settings on power and weight. So what you want to see, of course, is what can this more hardcore track-focused imagination or reimagination of the Taycan do at Spa? Well, as I said, this lap is quicker than stock, significantly quicker from a 233 to a 230, so a huge difference, and that's the exact kind of difference you'd expect in real life, between like a turbo and a GT3, or a GT3 and a GT3 RS, etc, because that tends to be the kind of lap difference that you will see on these higher variants of cars, not just with Porsche, but with others too, it's not like it's going to be 10 seconds quicker immediately, but still, 3 seconds on Spa is quite a decent margin. You accentuate that up to like the Nordschleifer in comparison, you probably would make it a good maybe 15-20 seconds quicker, maybe even more actually over the course of a whole lap. So overall, if you do decide to use it, I think you'll find it much better through corners. Incidentally, with that 30 horsepower more, you do notice acceleration differences as well. It is quicker. Obviously the top speed doesn't change. The brakes are still a little bit weak, but of course you can't upgrade those and the car is still heavy, even though it's dropped by around 50 kilos. So if you do decide to use this build, 
Of course, I hope you have a ton of fun with it. It is a lot of fun to make these fictionalized builds. As I said, if you want to go for the full thing that I've done, slap the tune on it, then jump over to the link down below and slap the livery on it as well. And then you've got yourself the full package of my imagination of what a Taycan RS could be like. So overall, that's it for this special project. Of course, I'll see you guys next time. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.